Hello and welcome to Earth Unplugged. Now I think it's fair to say that on the channel we've been a little bit biased in our love of the natural world. Yep, we've been have. fairly animal heavy um, and in fact our lovely plants have been fairly overlooked. So today is all about seed explosions. First up, we've got Himalayan balsam. It's an invasive species over here, but that's due to the fact that it's incredibly good at seed dispersal. You can literally set it off with pretty much anything, whether it's the touch of the hand or a, an animal or even the rain. And another incredible method of seed dispersal we've got right here. And it's the uh, squirting cucumber. Uh, so this is what the inside of one of those fruit pods looks like. And you can see it's got tiny little areas for the seeds to sit in. And actually there's some seeds in there already. And what normally happens in the wild is that animals come along and bump these. And then that pressure we were talking about just gets a huge release out the top and the seeds fire out with all the juice inside. Um, but we haven't got any animals around today, so I'm doing that with my fingers and the occasional stick. <laughs> Way! Look at wow. that. There must be so much pressure. Oh, it looks cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That's There's really cool. Seeds just bouncing off everywhere. You can see why they're so effective. Yeah. I mean, I was a couple of metres away and, and I got hit by them. Uh, so this is the fruit that just shot off the squirting cucumber and it shot about 20 to 40 seeds out of the top there as this fired the other way because it's got a huge internal pressure. So it really can release that liquid quite nicely. And it will shoot them up to six metres away. They'll travel about 95 kilometres an hour or up to 60 miles an hour. So it's a really handy method of seed dispersal just to spread them around as much as possible. And if you thought all that was amazing, then be sure to subscribe to the channel because if you think that's as exciting as plants get, then you're about to have your mind changed by an upcoming film. And we use some awesome tech to achieve these results, so please stay tuned. It's going to be really awesome. The flying fish escape their predators by simply leaving the water. By using their elongated fins, some species may glide for up to 400 metres. Hey! Today we're going faster than the speed of sound. And what better way to get there than by blowing stuff up? <laughs> 